Hi everybody! Welcome to Josiah is Right! So I'm here with Penny because... I would say I'm here with Penny because and then I talk about what I'm gonna do, but I'm not here with Penny because of that. I'm here because I'm her dad and we hang out a lot. So that's why she's usually here. So sometimes she makes these things harder to do, but it's worth it because it's also more fun when she's being a little wacky. So what we're gonna talk about today is this is a piece of paper that has a list. So this is a list of anniversary gifts Judy got for me. So I'm hoping to do this way sooner. Our anniversary was December 19th. And so we've been married for nine years, now closer to nine and a half, well, nine and a few months. But with that, she got me a gift for each year we've been married. So that's what's on this list. So it's, that's what you see here. So I'm gonna show you each of the things that she got me and kind of tell you the year. Now, she, I asked her about this last night. I said, Cole, can you give me the list so that I know what went with what year? And she said, put a disclaimer that there's modern lists and there's older lists and different things. And she's found different lists that say different things and all kinds of stuff that make this inaccurate to other lists. But she found something online and went with that list and got, regardless, she got very appropriate cold gifts for me. And you can kind of see them spread around me uh, as I talk. So we are going to go through each of the things on this list and we're going to just share what awesome gifts Judy got me for our anniversary. So the first thing is year one. Maybe we'll do this like a countdown. Year one. So year one is paper. So year one paper, Judy got me Bruce Springsteen's autobiography. Now this is awesome. This is something I wanted for a while. Uh, we were actually torn. She even said this maybe you get me the audiobook, but that wouldn't have obviously been paper because we had uh, Sirius XM for a while because of largely, for me at least, because of the Bruce Springsteen channel. One of the biggest reasons that I'm a writer is because of Bruce Springsteen. Uh, his songs are, he's, a, he's always been a storyteller and here he's telling his own story. So Springsteen, he's the reason that I write, like probably the most significant influence on me as a writer. So that is year one, it is paper and there's a lot of great paper. But do listen to the audiobook version if you get a chance. I've never heard the whole thing, but just clips on the Sirius XM channel. It's just, nobody tells his own story like Bruce and hearing it in his own voice is even, Maybe better than this, but I'm a book reader, so it's a big book. I'm excited to read it. I've read like five pages, but I've got a lot of books I'm reading right now. So, year two is... So year two is cotton, and that's why I'm wearing this sweater. So she also got me a t-shirt, which uh, we returned. It was just a little too small. It was like a Zelda t-shirt, so it had all the different characters from the original NES Legend of Zelda, which is pretty cool. Um, but with that theme, and I'm gonna... I'll cut to a shot of it, but... This is a Zelda shield blanket. Now, it just folded up here because um, it's a blanket that would take up all my space, but I will unfold it when I cut to a shot. So you're seeing it right now unfolded in all of its glory. You can see that it is a shield blanket and shield shaped. Now, the problem is Judy and I were watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I needed a blanket and I went and got this and it doesn't work really well as a human adult sized blanket, but it's perfect for Penny, but it's also just a cool decorative blanket. It's good for like your legs, about it. But if you're like over four feet tall, it probably won't work for you. Maybe just barely for Judy, but certainly for Penny. So year three, going along with year ones, is this awesome leather book strap, book strap, bookmark. So it's leather and Judy found a creative way and it actually has our anniversary on there. So that's our anniversary in Roman numerals. Can you see it, Penny? Can you want to hold this? Um, and it's so it's a leather bookmark that it's just really cool because it goes well with the Springsteen book a leather bookmark And it obviously has our anniversary on there just a simple thing, but you know, it's really thoughtful. That's Judy This is all very thoughtful. So year four was fruit or flowers now I eat fruit sure and I could care less for flowers But Judy found a way to get me some unique flowers and you can see it right back here in this cool sort of the 8-bit art deal of the plant from Super Mario Brothers. So I think she got this, a lot of like the stuff she got me on Etsy, like the bookmark and things like that. And this is an Etsy purchase. The pipe is just a green, a painted green pipe for like, I could use this in my plumbing in my house if I needed to. And the uh, sort of that 8-bit art, this little, you know, pixel art, this is a big thing. I don't have any other bits like this, but I've seen a lot of people that make it. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's uh, cool in this way. Cause it's like our little house plant that will never die. This one won't be so hard to maintain unless like a little plumber guy comes by unless this guy little guy comes by or his, maybe his brother and then we're gonna have problems so year five is supposed to be wood and judy got me this cool string art unfortunately it was damaged upon shipping so we did get a refund but 
we still have it on the wall, but it just kind of stinks that it's it's broken. You can see the corners here are just busted up and there's chips and uh, it's the integrity of it's not great because of how poorly it was packed, but the work is good and it's a cool item and someone spent their time crafting this for us and fortunately we got a discount because I would not have been happy paying full price. I think we got a full discount. I would not have been happy paying full price for something that got damaged because of poor packaging, really poor packaging. It's a big item, it's hard to pack, so I have sympathy but it was not boxed. It was just basically bubble wrapped and then put inside like uh, priority mailer boxes sort of around it. And the corners were not protected at all. Like and it was small bubble wrap at that. So anyway, but it's, it's cool to have. It reflects the Pittsburgh sports teams. Judy picked the order. So that tells you something about the order. It's probably the order in the house because hockey, football, and then unfortunately the pirates. We love them, but they hate us. I think that's how most pirate fans feel. Year six. It's kind of a weird one. It says on the list Judy gave me candy or iron. I don't know if that's two different lists or what, but Judy made the right decision and got me something that is probably not iron, but you know, metal work. And that is my favorite thing that she got me. This is from, I think it's like an Think Geek exclusive. So this is the Master Sword inside the stone. Does this have a name? Um, the cool thing is though, it is actually a letter opener. So it's a, just a nice decorative piece. Penny, I don't trust you with this, but you can see it's just, it's awesome. This sword is so cool. And the stand that it comes in, you can see there. And the sort of stone base is like etched, says Zelda. And let go, man. I'm worried about you dropping this. This is really heavy. So it's not like super heavy stone, but it's heavy. It's definitely heavy. And obviously the sword, and this was one where literally we have to keep it out of reach of Penny. I really, it's not sharp, but Penny could totally you know the thing is she wouldn't poke her eye out my eye or some or the dogs or something year seven is wool or copper so like i said this was a year two sweater i believe for cotton this is a nice comfy j crew sweater unfortunately she did get me a wool sweater but wool kills me like i'm sure a lot of people the itchiness i just can't do it so we actually returned that one so you don't get to see year seven represented but this year two cotton represents year two and year seven unfortunately like i said that just that wool shirt or wool sweater was not gonna work and it's a really nice sweater too but i liked it style wise but i can't do it it's just too itchy for me i just can't ever get used to wool so unfortunately that one has been returned a couple things had to be returned so two things but this is the only year that there's nothing so, so year eight is pottery or bronze so i'm gonna leave it behind me because it's a little bit hard to get with penny but right there you see that cool game boy canister so it is a uh, I think it's also she got it from Thinking. I don't know if it's an exclusive like the Zelda was, but it's basically just a, I think it's meant to be like a cookie jar. I think it says coffee canister, but I have a Death Star cookie jar, which I did a video on a while ago that uh, my sister in law got me for Christmas a couple years ago. And that cookie jar I just use for small little figurines that you see decorating here. Like, and this guy has like muscle figures, things like that. I feel like muscle figures are very appropriate for that Game Boy container. There should have been a Game Boy muscle game, but. That container, it's just a cool canister that I can put like the little like Keshi style figurines, little small stuff in there, maybe weapons for things, all these action figures up here that want to leave their weapons up so I can put their weapons down in there. And it's a cool little uh, storage container and I'll cut to a closer shot. You'll have seen it by this point of how, what it looks like closer and what's inside there. Year nine, perhaps the least interesting, but it's a cool, cool gift idea. And I like it a lot. We like a lot of candles. We actually just, literally burned through all of our candles. Going back to our wedding, we had candles. We had so many candles for all the tables and things that we just bought them and then we just kept everything that was like halfway burned or didn't burn at all or whatever. And now we just, we just very recently used them up within like the last couple of weeks. Um, we burned a lot of candles here. And so with that, Judy got more candles, which I'll show you just an example of one. It's cool because it's wood, which is the year. And then it's inside has the, the little like sort of tea candle in there, but it's just like a tree. It's, it's a wood based thing. You can see here, it's just, it's really cool looking. It just looks like a piece of tree. They've actually been out here for a couple weeks. So anyone who's paying attention to any videos I've shot since probably at least a month or so, you'll have seen these in the background. So that is it. That is the full extent of the awesome Yay! gifts my lovely wife got me for our anniversary. Happy anniversary. This came wow, two months hi. late. I did a little anniversary sort of thing for her where I did some videos of the records and things we had. And uh, I love you, Judy, and thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this stuff. Is it cool? Yes, it is. Is it thoughtful? Yes, it is. 